Boy Who Paints by Richard Cole and K. Jane Watt. It is still winter, not quite spring, in a town that you know. A boy looks out his window. All he can see are houses, just houses, nothing more. He wants to paint his world. He wants to grab hold of his brush and never put it down. He makes a sign for his bedroom door. Art studio. Time passes, the days get longer. The light gets stronger. Canvases fill his gallery. But something is not right. I'm tired of painting houses, he sighs. He doesn't know what else to paint. He paints them tall, he paints them small. Houses, just houses, nothing more, he cries. Mad, sad, tired, and even madder still, he piles up his canvases. Yep, every single one. It, it is a big pile. A garbage truck rumbles past and slows way down. The boy grabs an armload of his paintings and heads for a truck. But something stops him. What do you think it is? Do you think it is mother or his father telling him no? Do you think it is the garbage man? Well, you might be mistaken. He stops himself. He starts when he comes face to face with color. He stands still for a whole minute. Suddenly he sees color in everything. He sees great paintings all around his country town. He knows he must start again. I'll tell you what he does next. It's simple. He begins, he begins to paint. The yellow of the garbage truck becomes the wind's footsteps in a field of canola. The red of a stop sign becomes the air that shapes wind-swept trees. The blue of a sputtering boom lift becomes the quiet of a mountain lake. The boy paints early in the morning, the boy paints late at night. His mother tells him, eat your breakfast and go to bed. Has your mother ever told you to do something you just can't do? Have you ever answered, in a minute, and shrugged your shoulders or rolled your eyes? Well, the boy did, and you know what? He kept on painting. A row of orange hazard cones becomes the deep horizon of a prairie field. The industrial green of a recycling bin becomes the hazy mystery of a forest floor. The purple hue of an old tap becomes the corner beyond the nodding petals. The boy knew that houses were houses and paint was paint, but he learned that the world and his brush offered more than his eyes could see or his hands could touch, maybe even more than he could imagine, but he wasn't sure about that. Do you know what happened next? And after that, the boy kept on painting his whole life.